because different dyslexic fonts better for different people, everybody's different, every dyslexic's different, I thought I'd also show you how to download dyslexia fonts, but it's changed a bit since I last did it. Now, I'm very impressed with the information that dyslexia fonts give about why the, these fonts work well for dyslexic. So because of that, I wanted to show you how to download it. So this works on Windows and Apple, but not Chromebooks or mobile devices. There's a lot of really nice information in here that explains it very well, but also you can get that information um, from a YouTube video that I link to both on my YouTube channel and on my web page. But if we just have a look at pricing, I notice that whether you say home user or education, it comes up with the same price and it tells you all the different places that you can use it but you only get the first month free and after that you have to have a subscription. And if you add it, you see you have this basic, which is one gigabyte or standard at 569. Now I don't need any storage from them. So I have to admit, I don't really understand why that is. And I had a quick look at the site and it wasn't obvious to me. So I am going to do this just to show you because it is a lovely font. And if it makes a huge difference to you, then 379 a month is not breaking the bank. But I personally don't spend money needlessly and Open Dyslexia is a contribution, a donation of your choice. And then you can use it for as long as you want. So let's add this to cart so we can see how to get it. I do not want to buy a lifetime license. Should we see how much it is just for fun? No, I don't want to have to back out of it. So let's just do uh, next steps. So I'm creating my account. I accept the license agreement. I save the password so I don't have to remember it in the future. Um, I'm not going to complete this because I don't want to commit myself to 47.45 just to create a video and then forget to delete it. I'm certain that if I selected pay and then download, it would bring a file down here that I would need to open, then install, and then it would be available for me to use on the different applications that it talked about. Sorry, I did warn you I don't like wasting money, so I am not going to complete the download, but you get the idea of how you would download Dyslexia font. I recommend you take a look at my other videos on dyslexia friendly fonts because the others are either free or require a donation of your choice.